What's up guys? Welcome to Field Series Review. My name is J.R. Holly, and today we're going to be looking at one of Sitka's best kept secrets, the Stratus Jacket. What's up guys? Today we're looking at the Stratus Jacket. This is hands down one of my favorite pieces of the Whitetail Sitka line. This jacket is like body armor for a Whitetail hunter. Um, <clears throat> I live here in North Georgia. I hunt the southeastern states. I even travel out to Nebraska and Oklahoma some. And this jacket it goes with me everywhere. This jacket is a fleece. It's non-insulated, so to say. It does have a micro fleece liner on the inside of the jacket. The outer is 100% windproof gore windstopper. This jacket is your traditional deer hunting jacket, your traditional outdoorsman jacket. It's got your traditional pockets, two on the side, two in the chest. It comes with a draw cord in the bottom and it comes with a removable hood. One of the things that I love about this jacket is that you can wear it in so many different applications. Um, <clears throat> you can just wear a t-shirt or maybe a thin long sleeve shirt on your way into the stand when it's in its low 50s. Walk in, slide this jacket on once you get to the stand, you're good to go. You can also layer under this jacket depending on how low the temps go. I've worn this jacket all the way down into, let's say, the 20s. Um, and, and anywhere in between. So there's a lot of items that you can layer underneath this jacket. A lot of, uh, you can get very, very creative with your Sitka system underneath this jacket. And we're gonna look at some of those systems. But the thing I love the most about this jacket is I get asked all the time by friends, family members, guys that I hunt with, Sitka's pricey. I can only afford one jacket. What's one jacket that I can wear through deer season in the Southeast that's gonna get me a long ways? It's always the Stratus. Stratus is that, like I said, that body armor shell to keep all the wind out. It's somewhat water resistant, it's comfortable, it's quiet, and it does a really good job of whatever you want to layer underneath of locking that in. If you don't want to go and buy an entire Sitka system to wear underneath this jacket, that's fine. You can wear some of your older camo, you can wear some of your other items underneath, but anything you put underneath this jacket, the warmth is gonna stay. All right guys, now it's time to talk about what everybody wants to know on the internet from chat rooms to Facebook groups is sizing and application and what system do I wear with it? Everybody that I see on the Facebook groups and the forums want to know, well, oh, I'm this tall. I weigh this much. What size should I get? Should I go a size up because I'm going to layer underneath it? Um, I mean, hunt when it's mainly 40 to 50 degrees. Is this enough? Um, what are some things I can wear with it? What should I wear under it? What should I wear over it? What system should I use? Um, <clears throat> that's what we're about to talk about now. So, give you just a brief recap of myself. I'm six foot one, 205 pounds to 210 pounds. I wear an extra large in this jacket. I wear an extra large in all of my Sitka tops. It does not matter if it's a base layer, it does not matter if it's a shell, I wear an extra large. As far as application goes, of when I wear this jacket, um, I can wear it in, down in the low 50s, starting in the low 50s. I have some other pieces that I like to wear at those times. But definitely when we're in the 30s, low 40s, all through the 30s, even in the high 20s, this is my outer shell. Now, if uh, we're looking at high winds, like a strong wind chill, definitely wear this jacket because it is 100% windproof. Um, but I use this jacket primarily for 30 degrees, down into the high 20s, sometimes into the low 40s. Um, <clears throat> systems. What do I wear with this jacket? Well, you can wear most anything you want to underneath it. You really can. If this is the only Sitka piece that you have and you just want to put some of your old camo underneath it, some of your old jackets, um, that's perfectly fine. Like we said before, this is like body armor. It's going to lock all of that warmth in. 
some of the Sitka pieces that are made to go with this jacket, some of the Sitka pieces that I wear with this jacket, or <clears throat> everything in the Celsius line, the Celsius jacket, the Celsius jacket, the Celsius midi. All of those items are made to be insulators or made to be worn underneath this shell. I do have the Celsius jacket, the Celsius jacket, and I just got the midi. I have not worn the midi underneath here in a hunting situation yet. Um, <clears throat> I'll come back on a review with that when we get farther into our season. As for the Celsius jacket, it works great as an insulator underneath um, the Stratus jacket. When we get down into the 30s, even into the high 20s, I will layer next to skin with something like a Coral Lightweight tee, a Fanatic hoodie, a Celsius jacket, and then put the Stratus on top of it. That's just me, that's just my personal opinion. That is what I wear in the low 30s, high 20s. Um, I'll couple that with some other accessories like hand warmers, neck gaiters, beanies, things like that. Um, <clears throat> Other items that can be worn underneath this jacket, underneath the straps that I know people that use are items like the Equinox hoodie and the gradient jacket. I know a lot of guys that will put a gradient on underneath here and be perfectly warm. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of guys will wear the Equinox hoodie underneath this and they're perfectly warm, which the Equinox hoodie essentially is the white tail version of the gradient jacket. Um, it's a very, very warm piece. So, like I said before, you can get extremely creative with what you want to wear underneath this Stratus jacket. I will tell you, if I'm buying a Stratus, I'm looking to build a Sitka system under my Stratus. The items that I'm going to make sure that I get after I get my Stratus, I'm going to get a Fanatic hoodie. And I'm going to get either a Celsius jacket, um, a Celsius jacket or a Celsius midi. Um, <clears throat> most people are going the way of a Celsius jacket. A lot of guys are uh, high on a Celsius midi. So those are my recommendations. Um, I do have friends of mine that are in the 5'10", 5'11 range, 160, 180 pounds, and they wear a size large in this. Um, I am six foot one, 205 pounds, and I wear an extra large. I do have friends that are 6'3", about my size. They also wear an extra large. Once again, one of the questions is, well, if I'm gonna layer underneath, should I buy this a size bigger or should I buy this something else a size smaller? I do not. I buy everything in my tops extra large and they all fit nicely. All right, guys. Now it's time to talk about what I like and what I would change about this jacket. What I like about it is that it's 100% windproof, it's very soft, it's very warm, and it's very durable. It's extremely versatile, and however you want to create your own Sitka system, this jacket will facilitate that. Also, if you don't want to build a Sitka system, you just want a Sitka jacket to wear into the field with your other things underneath, this is the jacket for you. I love the fact that it's got the traditional pockets, two in the chest, two on the side. I love the draw cord at the bottom. It just helps keep that heat and that warmth in. Um, the things I would change. Um, this is a shell, I will, and it's meant to be worn with other pieces, with other insulators, and I wish there was a dual zipper system that I could actually zip another jacket into this since it is a shell. Drake's got its three in one. North Face has applications where you can zip in insulative um, pieces into a shell. I would love to be able to take a Celsius uh, jacket, a Celsius jacket, maybe even a gradient, and zip it right in to this jacket to make just one bigger jacket. Um, I, I love this jacket so much that I wish it came in a hunting solid so I could just wear it out and about. I mean, I wear camo just like you guys out and about, but it would be nice to have it in something like a brown, a tan, an olive green. Um, 
Because it is not insulated, because it is a shell, um, I would like to see the price point brought down just a little bit. It uh, retails for $349. I would like to see it around the $299 range. I think that would be um, a nice price point for it. You know, those are small nitpicky things. Overall, I'm very high on this jacket, and um, that's what I would like and what I would change. All right, guys, it's time to wrap up this review with a little episode of Should I Buy? On a scale of one to 10, I give the Stratus jacket a nine. This is a great piece. It's a great outer layer piece. If you're looking to build a whitetail system and you're hunting in uh, temperatures from ranging from the high 20s to the low 40s, this is a great piece for you. You can build a quality Sitka system underneath this jacket with items like the Fanatic hoodie, the Celsius jacket, the Celsius midi. If you don't want to build a Sitka system, you want to use your old products, your old items that you've got, perfectly fine. You can layer them underneath as well, and you're still going to lock in all of that heat. So, thank you again for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Follow us on Instagram. And don't forget to check out our sponsors at DixieFalco.com and PacificFalco.com. Use promo code FSREVIEW for 15% off, and we hope to see you soon.